Welcome to Harbor Town Kids. Online! Hey, friends! I'm Sarah, and I am so happy that you are joining us today. Welcome to Harbor Town Kids Online. The past couple of weeks, we've been learning how to use our best ninja skills to be more like Jesus. And today, we have a brand new lesson to add to your black belt. But just like all the best ninjas do, we have to warm up first. So let's stand up together and start with some praise and worship. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus, you make me new in my heart.
does, it changes everything. Let's do it a little bit louder. I've seen where love is. I've seen where love grows. I've seen what love does, it changes everything. Even louder. I've seen what love is. I've seen where love grows. I've seen what love does, it changes everything. As loud as you can. I've seen what love is. I've seen where love grows. I've seen what love does, it changes everything. This love. This love. This love. This love won't ever change, oh it changes everything Nothing can separate us from this love This love is full of grace, chases us from miles away Nothing can separate us from this love Oh yo! Something you hate. Maybe broccoli, math, doing chores. So when you have to eat your broccoli or do your math or do your chores, maybe you look like this. This is the hate emoji. It looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? That's because hate can make us into really ugly people. So what's the flip side of hate? Well, it's love, of course. Today's story is one of the most famous stories in the Bible, and it's about a man who showed real love to somebody in need. And by the way, it may give us a little a bit of a different idea of what it means to hate people or to love people. In the book of Luke, a man who was an expert in the law stood up to Jesus and asked, how can I have eternal life? Jesus asked the man what he thought the answer was. He said to love God with all your heart and also love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. Jesus told him he was right and went on to explain who his neighbor was by telling this story. There was once a man traveling to Jerusalem and while he was on his way, some robbers attacked him, took all that he had and beat him. He was lying near the road in need of help when two men walked by on the other side of the road. The first man was a priest, and the second was a Levite. Although you would think both of these men would have stopped to help the traveler, neither one of them did. But when a Samaritan passed by, he saw the hurt man lying on the road. He felt sorry for him and decided to show love by helping him bandage his wounds. The Samaritan put the man on his own donkey took him to an inn and paid the innkeeper two silver coins to watch over the man. Jesus finished the story and asked which one of the three men was really a neighbor to the hurting man in the story. The expert in the law replied that the Samaritan was the neighbor. He was the one who had shown love. When you think about hating somebody, you usually think that means doing something bad to them. And when we say we love somebody, we think about doing something nice for them, just like the Good Samaritan in the story. But what about the first two people who saw the injured man? Did they hate him? Probably not. They didn't kick him or hurt him even more, but they didn't show love by helping him either. Hmm. Maybe they were afraid of being robbed or they were in a hurry. Sometimes instead of hate, the opposite of love is doing nothing. We ignored the broccoli on our plate or daydream in math class or forget to do our chores. But the worst thing we can ignore is people in need. 
We might, might not be able to help everyone in need, but we can always be kind and we can always pray for them. So this week when you see someone who needs help or maybe just needs a kind word or a friend, do your best to show them God's love. Ninja Nate here, are you ready to work out? I'm going to teach you the necessary things needed to keep your body strong. This week, we are going to work out our muscle memory by testing the memory in our muscles. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to say nice things to your muscles. We need to encourage them. This allows them to work even harder for us. Let's try our arm muscle. I want you to look at your arm and say this, you are beautiful. You are the best arm that any guy or girl could ask for. If I were to recommend you to other people, they would be blessed to have this arm. Okay, now let's see if the arm remembers anything. Hey arm, do you remember what I said to you? Whoa, it worked! My muscles and memory is working better than ever before. I bet I can lift two water bottles now. Well, I will see you next week when we get stronger together. When Jesus met with his closest friends for his last meal, he knew that one of his friends, Judas, would turn him over to his enemies. And Jesus knew that his enemies would whip him, beat him, and nail him to a cross. Think about that. It would be so easy for Jesus to hate Judas or the soldiers who put him on the cross. But instead, when the soldiers crucified him, he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Jesus' love and forgiveness is for everyone, and he left us a reminder of that. Each week we take communion, a piece of bread to remind us of his body which was nailed to the cross, and a cup of juice to remind us of his blood which he gave to forgive our sins. Jesus forgave people who hurt him, and we should forgive too. You are the light, you live in me, help me to love like you love me. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you make me strong. No, I won't give up, even when it's tough, I'm gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. I'll shine for you. Lord, I'll be patient and I will share so others see how much you care. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you may be strong. No, I won't give up. Even when it's tough, I'm gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. I'll shine for you. For you. I'll shine for you. shine my light for you yes I will do good and I will be kind I'm gonna shine my light for you no I won't give up even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my light for you yes I will do good and I will be kind 
shine, I'm gonna shine my light for you. I shine for you, for you. I shine for you. I shine for you. When we take off old habits, like showing hate, and put on new habits, like loving others, we're changing the way our minds think and becoming more like God. There's a verse in the Bible that tells us how God wants us to be made new in our hearts and in our minds. Let me hear you say it with me. Be made new in your hearts and in your thinking. Ephesians 4.23 Say it one more time. Be made new in your hearts and in your thinking. Ephesians 4.23. Good job. Wow. I don't know about you, but I learned a lot of great new skills today. God loves when we practice what we learn and try as hard as we can to do what is right. So this week, let's think of some people that we can show love to, even if it's hard or frustrating at times. When we go out of our way to think of others and make them feel special, it makes God smile. And that's what makes the best, most powerful ninjas. Before we go, I would love to pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Please help us to love others and to do what is right. Thank you for all the ways you take care of us. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. One last thing, pause the screen on the next slide to check out our discussion questions and talk about them with the people around you. We'll see you soon.